Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. Welcome back to my channel. So, in the previous video, we saw how to, you know, send a message to a queue from Postman or uh, even from your code uh, to Service Bus Queue, Azure Service Bus Queue. So, in today's video, let's see how to connect uh, Service Bus, uh, you know, onto a function app. How to set uh, Service Bus as a trigger for the function app. So for that, what we'll do is uh, we'll do it locally first uh, and then we'll deploy the code. So you can go and check out my function app videos and see how to create function apps. If you have uh, if you're not sure how to do that or how to test it locally, you can just check out those videos. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create we'll open a new window. I have already have a you no. Know, um, function app created previously which I can use it but I don't want to use it uh, I don't want to confuse you people so we'll do it fresh and uh, push it to function app so first thing is I um, will have to go and uh, open a new window and here I'll just press F1 and select create function so it's asking for uh, for a folder let's give a folder for this uh, let's give um, let's go to document let's go to projects let's go to azure so here already there is one let's create a new folder let's give it as azure service bus open this and select this folder let's give the project uh, so we'll select javascript over here we'll keep v3 as uh, you know the model uh, we'll use the old model itself uh, in v4 the structure is different and here you'll have to select the uh, trigger what it needs to be previously we saw http trigger here in this video let's see uh, service bus queue trigger azure service bus queue trigger you can name uh, and i can give a name for the function app um, I'll give it as demo service bus and uh, let's create a local settings for this and uh, we can uh, we have to provide a service bus uh, you know which is available which we have already created over here so there is a service bus which you have created already so whenever uh, you know anything happens in this service bus and uh, in this queue we have to trigger the function app so we'll select this one and the queue we have to give is this queue this is the queue which we will be you know monitoring if there is any message coming or not so copy and uh, paste this name there should not be anything uh, you know missing out in terms of name and then just click enter open in current window so it will create a new project it will take some time so give si trust so the function app is uh, created the function app uh, the function name which we have given is demo sb and if you go under that there will be a file called index.js so this is the uh, you know um, default code which they which it comes with and uh, if you go to functions it will say what type of trigger it is it is service bus trigger and uh, what is the connection string which you have to use it says demo one two three two one uh, service bus so it is a name uh, uh, you know uh, the local setting name which will be given here and the queue name uh, that has to be used is first queue now if you go to uh, local setting you will see this name over here so demo one two three two one service bus so this is a connection string um, which if you if you want to do it manually you'll have to go back and uh, so if you go here if you go to shared access policies if you go to root manage service bus uh, root manage shared access key here you'll see the primary connection string I believe this is the same one it ends with phtw it ends with phtw so this is the connection string which was automatically you know um, uh, taken from there and it has been pasted here at the time of uh, the service bus function app which we created just now so that's how that's a little detail about the service bus 
the next thing what we need to do is we'll, we'll uh, directly test it uh, let's see if this comes uh, if the function if this particular con context.log uh, you know it's it's getting printed or not so let's open new terminal let's not do anything fancy here so based on this message you can do anything you can send out a mail or if if you want to update in uh, database you can do that over here so we are not doing all those things we are just i will just show you how how you know how the message will be coming here so we'll start the function app func start is what you have to use so looks like this has been used let's stop the function app here and let's go back and start it again so the function app will be started and uh, this is the service bus trigger i mean the function app which is available here demo sp and the trigger is service bus if you go here you can see and uh, if you want to run it for testing you can directly execute from here as well and test it so something uh, like this let's see if this works name service bus let's see if this get print uh, it's getting printed or not so if you see this is getting printed uh, so, so that is working if you want to locally you know uh, develop everything you can test it like this you don't have to explicitly send messages from there and keep on testing now what we'll do is let's send a message uh, from this uh, uh, queue and see if that message comes up there or not because we have uh, connected to this service bus queue and we should be seeing the message coming up so we have connected using the connection string so it doesn't matter if you are testing it locally you can still test it by sending a message to this queue so let's let's click on send message click on application json let's give uh, trigger it's just i'm just giving different uh, key value pair to differentiate so nothing specific so let me give the value as uh, triggered from azure portal that's sufficient let's click on send and see if uh, the message comes here so if you click on send so it says message is sent and it the increment is also not happened because this message was processed so once the message gets processed it will be auto auto deleted from here and if you see here it says triggered from azure portal also is coming up so that's how we you know test this uh, locally and uh, based on whatever message is coming you can um, uh, you know um, uh, code whatever is required as per the requirement if you want to send a mail you can send a mail or if you want to do anything else with this message you can do that so that's how it's done and now what you can do is if you want you can deploy it now directly you can go here go to function app uh, probably there is no function app available let me quickly create a function app So I've deleted the function app which I previously had uh, to avoid, you know, um, the free trial, whatever credits I have, uh, unnecessary charges uh, should not be incurred over here. So that's the reason uh, I have deleted from here. So let's click on create function app. Uh, let's give the resource as a default. If you want, you can give any resource group you want. Let me give the name as, uh, let me give the name as demo um service bus or let me give demo function app so looks like somebody has already used so uh, this is the url so we have to give some unique name because uh, it's uh, you know it will check for a unique name throughout this url if there is any subdomain available or not uh, for demo function app so for demo function app it was not available 
so I have to add one let me give a uh, runtime stack has node.js let's keep the version uh, default let keep, let's keep everything default click on review and click on create so let it uh, get created and we'll come back once it is deployed once you see deployment is successful we'll come back so deployment is complete now let's go to resource and uh, if you go and see the functions it will be blank so let's not create any functions here we'll directly deploy it from uh, the vs code and you should see uh, uh, demo sb coming up here i guess the name is given as demo sb so demo sb function app will be coming up there so let's go to azure uh, let's open or refresh to get the latest uh, updates so this function app function app has come here it's updated right click and uh, click on deploy to function app so whatever is there in this particular folder will be deployed has is so it requires a storage account let me give a demo storage account uh, one two three some name so let's click create this let's use the default resource group for this so it's getting deployed it will take about uh, two three minutes so if there is any node body if there is no node modules that needs to be installed then it should be quick so there is no node modules dependency required here so it should be deployed in some time so click down deploy so let's go and see if there is any update here so still let's uh, getting deployed let's come back once this is uh, once this is uh, deployed so the deployment is complete and uh, now we can go back here and refresh this and you should see this coming up here so let's go to monitor so you don't have to always go to code plus test and go to logs you can go to monitors and click on logs here change this to file system logs and then you can uh, send out a message now so in a similar way let's give uh, the name key value pair has trigger and then say triggered from function uh, triggered from triggered to function app something like this some random name so you should see connected only then you can send it or else we'll miss out that message coming up here and it says connected now you can send this message so the thing is you should see this also coming only then you can be sure to send it so send it now you should see that message coming up here hopefully let's see if that comes up here or not so as of now i'm not not seeing anything coming up hopefully the message has not come here so message has come here actually let's stop this and try to send again let's copy this message and click on send So let's see if now it comes or not. It says Q and uh, and yeah, I missed one more thing. I need to upload the local settings as well. Unless you upload the local settings, it will not know which connection string uh, has to be, you know. 
red here because this will be blank so we need to upload this local settings as well so let's do that let's open this right click and uh, upload local settings so as a uh, now if i uh, so when you have up changed something uh, you know it will stop so we'll have to refresh this page let's see if the message has gone from here so now the message has you know forwarded to the function app so maybe we'll have to send it again if not you can wait for some time and see the message coming up here in the monitor it takes about five minutes there's a delay over here to show up the logs under this uh, invocation so let's try again go here wait for it to be connected meanwhile let's frame the body for this and so i'm just giving something like this the body so if you see the two messages as uh, come here if you expand this you will see uh, two fa so you can close this and see the other message triggered to FA. So that's also coming up. Let me show the real time logs just for, uh, you know, as a demo, I'll just show you. I don't want to miss this out. So connected it says, uh, let's wait for one more line to come and then we'll send, hit the send button. So the new line has also, you know, showing up here. Now if I click on send, uh, you should go back and you should see that the message is coming up here try fa and like this you can you know process this message as per the requirement if you want to send it via mail you can send it or if you want to do something with the database you can do that or if you want to do some logging you can do that so though there are a lot of things which you can do with the help of queue messages so yeah, that's about it guys. Hope this was useful. Uh, if you liked it, uh, please do the like button, subscribe, comment. Let's catch again next video. And yeah, in the next video, let's see how to forward message from function app to service bus and uh, uh, how to again, you know, connect that service bus uh, to another function app so that you might have already come to know with this video. But let's see that in the next video. Until then, see you. Bye.